Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Oscar Mikey and today we finally have another episode of The Guide. Today we're talking about some guns. We're looking at the 7.62x25 weapons in the game. There's only two of them. There's the BBSH and the PP Kokorev. These are based off the real life uh, PPSH and TT Tokarev, I think. These are like World War II era um, Russian weapons. There's only two ammo types for 7.62x25 uh, in the game. FMJ has a pen value of 13 and PST has a pen value of 25, but um, it doesn't have any damage loss. So typically when you get an ammo type that has more penetration, the damage will fall off to counteract that to balance it out. But PST has no damage loss, which is actually pretty sick. The BBSH stats, uh, it has 12 damage, 54 accuracy, 68 recoil, 21 ergonomics, and it fires at 900 rounds per minute, and the base mag size is 35. These are all stock uh, stats, like bought from traders. The Kokorev has uh, 16 damage, 50 accuracy, 80 recoil, 70 ergonomics, uh, 300 rounds per minute, and the base mag size is 10. The BBSH can be bought immediately from the barman as soon as you start the game for 13,600 rubles. This is on the rookie difficulty. And the Kokorev can be bought from the Green Army immediately. As soon as you unlock the Green Army, it is available to buy for 4,500 rubles. Starting with the BBSH, it's actually surprisingly effective, especially with the PST ammo. I really like that it doesn't have any damage fall off, it just has extra pen. It works really great against the brown and green bandits. Those guys have levels 1 and 2 armor, respectively, and it's, it's really great for that. It's less effective against class 3 armor. You'll see hunters walking around with that, with that a lot. Uh, same with the green army. And it starts to get really ineffective against class 4 and anything above that. You might want to be careful with this thing, uh, this ammo and these guns around green army, crimson, and hunters. Depending on who you fight and what class armor they're wearing, it might be a little bit difficult. So uh, keep an eye out for those guys. The BBSH only has one mod available for it, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. It is a good one though. It's a 71 round drum mag, which really helps with combat. It does give you minus 20 to ergo and minus 40 to reload speed. But honestly, I think it's worth it. You got a lot more shooting you can do and the PST ammo is actually pretty good. So you can keep yourself in the fight for quite a long time with this. The muzzle slot is open for a mod, but at the moment there's nothing you can attach to it. The Kokorev actually has the same stats as the PN Pokorov, Pokorov, which is another early game handgun that you can buy from the uh, Barman. It has exactly the same stats across the board, except it has one more point of damage over the Pokorov. So it's definitely the pistol to get if you're into handguns, and uh, yeah, it's definitely the early game handgun to, to use. The nice thing about it is it can be modded a little more extensively than the BBSH. You can put any scope on it except for the CU and the TSU scopes, I think. Those are the ones that go on like the Mosin and the EC series weapons. You can put lasers and flashlights on it if you like. And there's one suppressor for 7.62x25 that you can put on there as well. It gives 10 points of accuracy and recoil reduction, but it takes uh, 6 ergo and 7 damage. And it doesn't work with the BBSH for some reason. It only it only works with a Coke Rev. Uh, overall thoughts on these guns. I don't really use handguns, but the Coke Rev is definitely better. The better option, the better early game option. Um, you've only got really two handguns to choose from. There are others out there, but those are the ones you can buy from the traders. It is the better option, so if you're into that, uh, definitely go for it. I like that it can be modded out a little bit, which that's really nice. I just wish you could get a bigger mag for it. There is no extended magazine option. I used to really dislike the BBSH, but I've kind of come around to it. I've, I've learned to like it over time. It's not something I would want to use against the Green Army or Crimson or even Hunters. The ammo doesn't really hold up against those guys. Their higher class armor kind of tanks a lot of those rounds, especially, uh, even PST. It has a tough time getting through class 3 and 4. But that being said, PST is still really good. It works great against the bandits, the level 1 and 2s. It's great against creatures. You can take out uh, like wolves and stuff like that pretty, pretty effectively. There's no damage loss with the extra penetration of PST ammo, which is amazing. Especially with the drum mag, it's really great for taking out like whole packs of wolves. And I find it's uh, actually a pretty good gun to take to forest. 
Just be careful if you run into Crimson Green Army or Hunters. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you out a little bit. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to see more, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.